Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to remember everything you are learning when you are learning how to code. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Also, as always, I want to say shout out to some of these awesome users here. Thank you for all of your support and love. I love the community we are building, so uh, thank you for that. I'm always listening to what feedback you have, what questions you have, so please keep the comments and questions coming as these videos are all based on what you want to see and what you have questions around. Also, actually, before we get started, I feel like you can see part of my shirt, but not the full shirt. Um, so rather than having tons of comments about it in the comment section of what does exactly does it say, it'll save you the trouble. It says clean code. It's probably backwards. Well, it's definitely backwards on screen right now, but that's what it says. So mystery solved. Okay, let's get started. One of the common questions I've been getting asked recently is how to remember everything when you are learning how to code. And this really resonated with me as it is something that I went through having these thoughts and these questions when I was first starting out learning how to code. It can be very overwhelming and there is so much information out there that a lot of times we can have thoughts come into our head of how on earth am I going to remember all this information? How am I going to retain it? Um, is this something that I need to memorize? All these kind of questions come up. So today I wanna to share with you really how I navigated uh, remembering everything when learning how to code. And although this is talking about things or how to remember when you are learning how to code, the tips I'm going to share with you really apply, I take anyways, into life in general when I am learning something new. The number one tip is to focus on concepts and ideas. And what I mean by that is, I'll give you an example. When you are learning, say, a new spoken language, whether it's Spanish or uh, French or any kind of language, you have to look at the big picture. You need to focus on the concepts of really how to put these words together and form sentences. And similarly, when you are learning a programming language, you need to take that same kind of mindset as well. Another example, but in programming would be if you are learning if-else statements in say JavaScript, but you un so you understand that, but you don't really understand the overarching concept of um, conditional statements. What's going to happen is yes, you will know how to apply if-else statements, but if you didn't take the time to really build a basis of conditional statements as a whole, it's going to be difficult to kind of stack those building blocks um, and continue to learn and grow on top of each other. And a little personal story here is when I was first learning how to code, I remember feeling as though, cause I went to a boot camp, and the whole point of it was to get a job at the end of it. So when I was learning how to code uh, through the boot camp, I remember feelings of I need to learn this as fast as possible so I can get a job and start working right away. And you know, that whole cycle kind of continues. But the reality is what happened was I didn't take the time to actually understand the concepts and ideas right away, rather just kind of like put things to screen and okay, it works, move on to the next thing. And in turn, what happened is when I was done my boot camp, I felt as though I didn't really know anything or sorry, I should rephrase that. I knew a lot, but I didn't understand it. And I don't know if that's like a huge difference, but to me it was because I didn't feel prepared to go into interviews and talk about the code. I didn't feel prepared to make projects on my own. I felt as though I really rushed through my learning experience and was so focused on getting a job that I didn't take the time to actually understand the fundamentals and the big ideas. So then in turn, I had to go back, take time, and kind of rework my thinking and my learning and learn in a way where I was actually understanding the concepts and ideas. The next tip I have for you is apply what you are learning. And although this sounds kind of obvious, of course, if you're learning something new, you're going to be building something. However, what I want to highlight is do not get stuck in the tutorial cycle where you are learning something new through a tutorial and then you go into another tutorial and it's this easy kind of cycle that you can get caught into, a vicious cycle, I may add, that you're constantly learning and you feel as though you're growing because you're building projects, but you're not building anything on your own. How I like to kind of prevent this, even now as someone who is a developer in my day job, I still obviously am learning so much new things every single day, or not, I don't, I, not every single day, but frequently learning new things. And I like to, what I do is take a tutorial, read the documentation, and then I will apply it by building something on my own. So take that learning, that tutorial, reading the documentation, and then build something on my own. And a lot of times I don't have a ton of time in the day to just 
sit there and build a project to apply my learning. So even if it's a small thing like a to-do list or um, just a small kind of thing that you are focusing on and taking what you have learned and directly applying it versus just continuing to build tutorial after tutorial. And if you are listening to this and you are someone taking tutorial right now, make sure, this is a reminder, make sure to build something on your own afterwards. It's too easy to get caught up in that cycle. Tip number three is to view other people's code. And if you are like me, when I was first starting to code, I was like, how am I going to, I don't have any friends who are programmers. I don't actually, I didn't actually know anyone else who was in tech other than people I was reaching out to and meeting, but like, none of my friends were in the industry or I didn't have any contacts in the tech industry. So I was like, how am I going to read other people's code or kind of see what other people are coding? So of course, this wonderful world of open source, thank you, open source. So go on GitHub, search up some open source projects, look at other people and their contributions to the project, take that project, start playing around with it locally. And kind of as a side note, make sure to break things. That's another really great way to really understand and I guess you could say memorize or keep, I hate using the word memorize, but um, what would be a better word? Help it to stick. I think stick is a good word. Um, helping your learning stick where you are breaking things because then you understand, okay, the, this button does this, this does this, why does it do that? And then if you break things, you understand, oh, this part of the code is for this reason. So kind of reverse engineering that and starting to break things is another great way as well. Okay, the next tip is to take notes. I think this is, I mean, everyone has a different way of learning, but taking notes really forces you to focus on what you are learning at that time. You can't let your mind wander or go on your phone. You have to be present in the moment. And because of this, you are more likely to retain uh, more information. And I want to be clear, for me, when I was learning how to code to start with, I took so many notes and I, I just have piles and piles of notes. I never went back and looked at them, but that's not the point. The point is during the time I was taking those notes, I was fully present and digesting the information that was given to me. So even if you you know, are taking notes and you're like, I'm never going to look back on it, that's okay. That's not the point of note taking in this scenario. Okay, and the last tip I wanna leave you with, which has been really an underlying tip throughout this entire video is practice. It's one of those things that repetition really will help these concepts stick. It can be very overwhelming, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, when you are learning how to code and there's so much information out there and you don't know where to start, but just practice, 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 repetition. It's kind of like, I like to think of it almost as a muscle. The more you use it, the more you practice it, the stronger it will become. So although you can read all the documentation in the world, take all the tutorials, until you sit down and start practicing, it really, I, in my opinion, won't fully click. You need to start practicing. Okay, those are my main tips on how to remember everything when you are learning how to code. And I wanna correct that actually, because you're not going to remember everything when you're learning how to code right away, but these tips will help strengthen your memory, kind of like I said, that muscle, but eventually you'll be able to learn everything and have these concepts stick when you are learning how to code. And let's be clear, no programmer, no developer has everything in their, up in their head. I think at the end of the day, to be a really good developer, you need to just have a skill of learning how to Google and knowing what to Google. So I'm not trying to sit here and say that you need to memorize everything or have everything in your head because that is completely false, but these tactics will help you learn quicker, understand the concepts quicker, and in turn, make you a better developer. Thank you all for watching this video. Oh, I wanted to say also, so a few days ago, I did in the community tab on YouTube, um, I asked a question of other videos you want to see, and I got so much amazing feedback and questions and just topics of videos you want to see with an underlying topic of doing more kind of day in the life of a developer vlogs or week in the life. So I'm definitely going to start doing more kind of tech vlogging videos. So stay tuned for that. And on that note, make sure to hit subscribe to tune in and watch some of the upcoming really exciting vlogs. I have some really awesome ideas for you all. So thank you all. Okay. I'll see you soon.